Lamgela Longegu, speaknebele.com. Ibizolami ngundando ngiyathabaka kakulu uba lami lapha namhla. That means welcome to speaknebele.com. My name is Ndando and I'm so pleased to be here with you today. In today's lesson, <clears throat> we'll be learning about meeting and greeting. Um, that's Ndebele Ugwazisana. Say it with me. Ugwazisana. Meeting and greeting is something that we do all the time when we meet new people. You, you're at school, you're starting a new job, um, you're at church, um, you're in the city, wherever you are, you're generally going to meet new people and you're going to want to know how to greet them. So today's lesson is all about that. And we're going to start by learning a few words that you're going to need to know. And then we'll go right into different ways of saying hello and the responses that you're going to be able to give when somebody greets you. Okay, so let's start with the word for hello. That's a good one, right? All right, the word in Debele for hello is sawbona. Say it with me. Sawbona. Okay, usually um, if somebody says sawbona or hello, um, they're also going to say how are you, right? Okay, so a word in Debele for how are you is gunjani. Say it with me. Gunjani. Gunjani. Very good. So if somebody has said Saubona Gunjani to you, hello, how are you? You're gonna want to say, I'm fine, thank you, right? So the word in Debele for I am well or I am fine is Nia Pila. Say it with me. Nia Pila. Nia Pila. Very good. A word in Debele for welcome, I say it all the time in all the lessons, if you've been listening, at the beginning of the lesson, I will say welcome, and that word is Nyagwamugela. Say it with me. Nyagwamugela. Nyagwamugela. Very good. All right. Now, a word in Debele for good morning is Uvuganjani. Say it with me. Uvuga njani. That literally means, how did you uh, get up? How did you wake up today? Or you could say, for short, livugile. Say it with me. Livugile. All right. Um, if you are, um, if somebody asks you, uvuga njani, you would respond and say, ni vugile. I'm well. I'm well this morning. I slept well. Ni vugile. Okay. Now, how about in the middle of the afternoon? If it's the afternoon and you want to say good afternoon to somebody, you would say, Uchone njani. Say it with me. Uchone njani. Good. Or, Lichonile. Say it with me. Lichonile. Um, just a note to remember with uh, good afternoon, uchonenjani or lichonile. With this one, you have to have seen that person in the morning. You cannot, you cannot say uchonenjani to someone that you didn't previously see. Uchonenjani literally means how have you spent um, your morning, your day so far. Um, so. It only makes sense if you actually saw that person in the morning. If you said good morning to that person, you can then say uchonenjani or uchonile. Um, you cannot use that one if you haven't seen that person uh, that day yet. Okay. Um, so if you haven't seen them yet, you would use um, salbona or gunjani um, instead of saying uchonenjani, uchonile. Okay. Um, if somebody said to you, uchonenjani or lichonile, you would respond, ni chonile. Ni chonile. Did you get that? Ni chonile. Very good. 
Now, what about when it's night time and it's time to go to bed? You're going to want to say good night, right? So, the word in Debele for good night is Lala Guhle. Say it with me. Lala Guhle. Sleep well. It literally means sleep well. Uh, another way of saying good night is Lilale. Say it with me. Lilale. Very good. Um, if somebody says to you good night, if they say Lala Guhle or Lilale, you would respond and say um, Lala Guhle Lawe or Lilale as well. So you respond in the same way. Okay? Um, one more way of saying good night is Guhle. Say it with me. Guhle. Guhle. Okay. Now, how do we say goodbye? So after you've spoken, you've said hello, and you've had a lovely conversation, you want to say goodbye, right? Right. So, um, in order to say goodbye, you could say, Hambaguhle. So, if you're the one who's leaving, um, you, you, the, the people who are saying goodbye to you would say, Hambaguhle, which literally means go well. Hambaguhle, go well. And you, would respond to the people who are staying behind and you would say sala guhle or salane guhle and that literally means stay well so the people who are saying goodbye to you as you leave would say hamba guhle that means go well and if you are speaking back to them or in response to hamba guhle you would say sala guhle or salane guhle Okay, another way you could respond is Lisale, also stay well. Did you get that? Good. Okay, now we're going to do a mini practice conversation. Um, we've got a few um, expressions and sayings um, to do with meeting and greeting that you can use in your everyday life. And I'm going to give you um, the initiation and then also how you answer that initiation. Are you ready? Okay, let's get to it. Firstly, like we learned, saubona, which means hello. Um, somebody would say to you, saubona. And this is how you would respond. You would go, yebo. Say it with me. Yebo. So, yebo is the response to saubona. Okay, let's practice that. Now, I'm going to say saubona, and you're going to respond to me. Okay? All right. Let's do it. Saubona. Did you say yebo? Saubona. Yebo. Good. All right. After you've said hello and hi, um, the person uh, who said saubona would say something like, how are you, right? So they would say, Gunjani. And then you would respond, Niapila, meaning I am well. So, Gunjani, how are you? And you would respond, Niapila, I am well. So let's practice that, shall we? I'm going to say, How are you? And you're going to re respond and say, Niapila, meaning I am well. You ready? Let's go. Gunjani. Did you say niapila? Good. Kunjani, niapila. How are you? I am well. Okay, good. And then you might want to know what this person's name is. So um, you would ask, what is your name? So I'm going to ask, what is your name? And you're going to respond, my name is. And this is how you do it. I would say, ibizolako ngubani. Say it with me. Ibi zolako ngubani. And then you would respond. Ibi zolami ngu. Let's say your name is Samugeliso. You would say. Ibi zolami ngu Samugeliso. Say it with me. Ibi zolami ngu Samugeliso. Now you're going to put your name in that place. And I'm going to ask you what your name is. 
and you're going to tell me what your name is. So I'm going to say, Ibi Zola and you're going to say, Ibi Zola Mingu, and put your name. You ready? Let's go. Ibi Zola Kongubani. Did you do it? Good. Did you say, Ibi Zola Mingu? Very good. All right. And let's say you brought a friend with you. And I want to know who your friend is. So I would say, who is this? And you would respond, this is so and so. Okay. So in Livele, the way to say, who is this, is Lo Mubani. Say it with me. Lo Mubani. Good. And the response to that would be, Lo Mu and whoever it is. Let's say you brought Temba with you. So you would say, Lo Mu Temba. This is Temba. Okay, let's practice that. All right, so let's say you've brought Temba with you and I want to know who it is. So I'm going to ask who is this and you're going to tell me this is Temba. You ready? Okay. Lo Mu Bani. Did you do it? Did you say lo mutemba? Good. All right. Um, after you've had a nice chat and um, you are you want to um, say goodbye, you might want to say I'm very pleased to meet you. Okay. So the way to do that in Isindevele would be niyataba ukugwazi. I was very happy to know you. And that's what it literally means. I am very happy to know you. Nia Taba Ugu Gwazi. Did you get that? And the response would be similar. You would then say, Lami Futi Nia Taba. That is, I am also pleased to meet you. I am also happy about it. So let's practice that one. I'm going to say, I am very pleased to meet you, or I'm very happy to know you, and you're going to say, I'm also pleased to know you. Okay, so let's begin with me. Nia Taba Ugugwazi. Now you. Very good. Did you say Lami Futi Nia Taba? Good. All right. Um, during your conversation, you might want to ask your new friend, um, or rather, if it's actually somebody that you know already, you might want to know how their family is at home. Um, this is something that we do as Ndebele people, which is just, it's very polite to ask after um, your friend or um, family or the person that you're speaking to, to ask after their family and where they come from, okay? So the way you do that is... Um, you would say, how is your family or how are the others at home? And you would say, Banjani Abanye. Say it with me. Banjani Abanye. And the response to that would be, they are well. They are fine. So you would say, Bayapila. Say it with me. Bayapila. Okay. So let's practice that quickly. I'm going to say, how are the others at home? And you're going to say they are well. All right. So I'm going to go. Banjani abanye. Did you say bayapila? Good. All right. And another one um, to well, <laughs> once you're done meeting and greeting and you've said your goodbyes or you're saying your goodbyes, you might want to say, okay. Greet the others at home, you know, pass on my regards, send my regards, send my love to them. All right. And the way you do that is. Say it with me. Did you get that? That means greet those at your home or greet the others at home. And in response to that, you would say. Very well, I will pass on your greetings to them. And in Devele, you say, Nizababona. Say it with me. Nizababona. Good job. All right, let's practice that quickly, shall we? 
all right i'm going to say greet the others at home and you're going to say i will do that i will see them okay so i'm going to say did you say nizababona very good you're doing very well okay um, another way, another thing you might want to know or ask when you meet someone new is where do you live, right? Okay, um, so if you want to know where does someone live, this is what you say. You say, ngapi. That means where do you live? And in response to ushala ngapi, you would respond and say, nishala e and the place where you live. So let's say you live in Harare and someone wants to know where you live and you want to say, I live in Harare. So you could say, Nishala e Harare. Say it with me. Nishala e Harare. All right, so let's practice that. I'm gonna ask where you live and you're gonna tell me that you live in Harare, okay? Or you could tell me where you live right now. Let's say you live in London or you live in um, Boston, or you live in New York, you live in America, you live in Africa, you live in Kenya, you live in Botswana, wherever it is in the world that you live, tell me that that's where you live, okay? Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna say, where do you live? Ushala ngapi. Did you say nishala e? And the place you live? I hope so. Want to try that one more time? Ushala ngapi. Very good. Okay. Another thing you might want to know is where does where does someone come from? Where do you come from? Something you might want to ask. So the way you ask where do you come from um, in Devele is udabuga ngapi. Say it with me. Udabuga ngapi. Udabuga ngapi actually means where do you originally come from? So let's say you're living in um, Britain, you're living in London, you're living in the UK, all right? And you want to say, uh, and somebody asks you, where do you originally come from? You're going to want to say, I originally come from Africa or I originally come from Zimbabwe. So um, they're going to say, Udabuga ngapi, and you are going to respond and say, Ni dabuga e. Maybe you want to say, I come from Africa. So, Ni dabuga e, Africa. Or you want to say, I originally come from Zimbabwe. You might want to say, Ni dabuga e, Zimbabwe. All right, so let's practice that. I'm going to ask you where you originally come from, and you're going to tell me that you come from, originally you come from Zimbabwe. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. Udabuga ngapi. Did you say, nidabuga e Zimbabwe? Good job, if you did. All right. Now, if you've met somebody new, or you're talking to somebody, you might want to, you found out where they come from, where they live. You might want to know who they live with, okay? So you would say, Ushala Lobani. Say it with me. Ushala Lobani. Who do you live with? And in response to that, you would say, Nishala, and then with whoever you stay. So maybe you stay with your parents. You would want to say, Nishala Labazali Vami. Say it with me. Nishala Labazali Vami. I live with my parents. Or if you live alone, you would say, Nishala Nedwa. I live by myself. Nishala Nedwa. Let's practice that one. I'm going to ask you who you live with. Ushala Lobani. Did you say you live with your parents? Nishala Labazali Vami. Good job. Okay. Um, 
remember how we asked where do you come from originally um, there's a way to just say where do you come from um, this doesn't mean originally come from you might just be asking someone where they're coming from okay or where they come from so that that the way you say that is uvela ngapi say it with me uvela ngapi where do you come from okay and i'm going to want you to say um i come from zimbabwe again all right um, and the way you say that is Nivela e Zimbabwe. Say it with me. Nivela e Zimbabwe. Okay, let's practice. Uvela ngapi. Your turn. Good job. Did you say Nivela e Zimbabwe? Very good. All right. Now let's deal with uh, languages. If you want to find out what language somebody speaks, um, you're going to ask them like this. Ukuluma lupi ulimi. Which language do you speak? Ukuluma lupi ulimi. Which language do you speak? All right, and you would respond to that by saying, Nikuluma, let's say we want to say, I speak Nirele. Nikuluma isi ndebele. Say it with me. Nikuluma isi ndebele. Very good. If you wanted to say I speak English, you'd say Nikuluma isi ngisi. If you want to say I speak French, you'd say Nikuluma isi fulenji. If you want to say I speak German, um, I think that's Dutch, right? You would say Nikuluma is All right. So whatever language it is you speak, put that language in there. But let's practice using Ndebele, all right? Because we are, after all, trying to speak Ndebele. Okay? So I'm going to ask you what language you speak, and you're going to tell me that you speak Ndebele. So um, I'm going to say Ukuluma Lupi Ulimi, and you're going to say Nikuluma Isi Ndebele. Ready? Ukuluma lupi ulimi. Did you get that? Did you say Nikuluma isindebele? Very good. All right. And one more. Um, if maybe you want to know if someone speaks many languages or you know that they speak many languages, but you just want to find out which languages they speak, um, you're going to ask. Ukuluma zipi izindimi. Which languages do you speak? Ukuluma zipi izindimi. Which languages do you speak? And in response to that, similar to the one before, you would say, Nikuluma isindebele lesi ngisi. Maybe in French. Lesi fulenji. So you've said I speak Lebele and English and French. So you list them by using the adjoining word Lesi and the next language, Lesi and the next language. So let's practice that. Nikuluma isi ndebele and English, Lesi ngisi and French, Lesi fulenji and Spanish. Les Spanishi. Okay, so let's practice that last one, shall we? I'm going to ask you which languages you speak, and you're going to tell me that you speak Lebele and English and French and Spanish and any other language you want to tell me, okay? By joining them with Lesi, Lesi, Lesi. Okay, here we go. Ukuluma Zipi is in Demi. Very good. Did you say Nikuluma isindebele, lesingisi, lesifulenji, lesispanishi? <laughs> All right, so that's Ndebele, English, French, Spanish, 
whichever language you want to add. And that brings us to the end of our lesson about meeting and greeting. So now you know how to say hello, um, how are you, goodbye, and how to ask questions whilst you're having a conversation with somebody, and um, generally how to meet and greet people in Isindebele, of course. Unfortunately, it's time for me to say goodbye for now. I really hope you've enjoyed today's lesson as much as I've enjoyed teaching it to you. Well, nizali wona pambili, which means I will see you in the lessons up ahead. Salani gushe, yimi ondando. Bye-bye for now.